Hey everyone, well we got a few news stories for you today for Tears of the Kingdom. We got some pre-order updates, we got some brand new merchandise, and well, a strategy guide is now for sale for the game here in the U.S. for those that like to collect those things, or maybe even use them. I don't know what kind of consumer you are. We got timestamps down below for all of today's news, but before we dive in, I want to remind you, we are giving away a Tears of the Kingdom Nintendo Switch OLED Edition. We're also giving away a Tears of the Kingdom Special Collector's Edition. Well... Okay, I shouldn't throw a special in there. It's just the normal collector's edition. We're also giving away a pin from PAX East. So head down to the pin comment or to the description. Click on the link to enter. Winners will be drawn May 12th. And I'm really excited about this because we're on our road to 133,000 subscribers. So I'd appreciate if you drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. And who knows? We just might get there someday. All right, let's dive into our first story. And this is one that really excites me because... Talking about the sales of Tears of the Kingdom just tickles my fancy. And we need to talk about maybe the only place giving us actual numbers, and that is ComG out of Japan. So, with uh, about 10 days to go until the game is here, ComG has updated their pre-order chart for Zelda, showing how far ahead of Breath of the Wild it is in the same time. And it has basically doubled the sales of Breath of the Wild at ComG. Now, ComG is showing just over 500 sales. And the big thing to remember about ComG, and I've talked about this before, it represents about 1% of the market in Japan. And you might go, well, that's not a very good barometer, except every game that releases in Japan seems to stick by the ComG representation. So that means for every one copy sold at ComG, there is a thousand copies sold across Japan. It's very, very, very consistent. So when we see this over 500, that means there's over 500,000 pre-orders. Now, to note, pre-orders do not mean launch sales because there are tons and tons of people who don't pre-order games and they just show up to retailers day one and buy. Also, this doesn't obviously include digital sales. So yeah, that's really, really exciting stuff to see how far ahead of Breath of the Wild it was and or is currently. And I'm just, I can't wait to see what the future holds on the sales data because Japan's going to be the first territory we typically get any concrete sales from for launch. Typically from the Famitsu report, that's going to come out the Thursday after now. The thing is, it's only going to give us concrete physical sales, not digital. Can it top 2 million physical? I don't know. Can it be like a Splatoon-type launch? Or is it just going to be the best launch in Zelda history, but still not quite up there with some of the more popular launches on Switch in Japan? Time will tell on that. Now, we got to get into our second story, and that is because there are brand new merchandise launching for Tears of the Kingdom. And this matters for everyone in the U.S. in particular, uh, if you're going to be at the midnight launch at Nintendo New York, you'll actually be able to buy these at that launch. Potentially, they might be sold out, guys, by the time they get to the daytime. But that's not the only way you'll be able to buy it, because you'll be able to buy it on Nintendo's online store as well. So they put up a few tweets, like it's dangerous to go alone to the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom t-shirt with you on your quest, available for $29.99 starting at midnight. But it's also going to be, you know, it, by the way, the midnight starts exclusively at Nintendo New York, but you could actually buy it online from the Nintendo shop at 5.11, so the day before. So online buyers get to buy it as well. It's just a, a typical green shirt with the gold uh, Tears of the Kingdom logo with the family crest on the sleeve. Next up, they have a mug they are selling. This looks like one of the handcrafted variety uh, mugs that you can sometimes see at Renaissance festivals, uh, and you can quench your thirst, it says, with Tears of the Kingdom mug. It's available for $39.99, again, starting midnight, exclusively at Nintendo New York City. But again, you can buy it online the day before. And then our last one is a long sleeve shirt. Uh, it says, will, what will you create wearing the Legend of Zelda Tears of Kingdom long sleeve t-shirt? And again, going to be at uh, Nintendo New York uh, midnight for the midnight release, but you can buy it online the day before for $34.99. So Look, I might pick up all three of these. I do like the merchandise. Maybe I don't need the mug. We'll see. Uh, but I do like the T-shirt. I do like the uh, long sleeve shirt in particular. That one's one that I definitely think I might pick up. Uh, it, it just looks really sleek, and I'm really digging uh, the the arm patterns and the family crest on the other wrist. And I don't know. It something just looks classy about it. it. Looks like something I would just wear out in public all the time. So. Really, really excited about that one. And then our last story today 
deals with a strategy guy listing. So we talked about this listing existing in like you know Spain and stuff before from uh, certain retailers where they were selling a hardcover and softcover strategy guide. Well, today we have a hardcover listing of that exact same strategy guide on Amazon. This does suggest that there will be a day one strategy guide. And this one seems to come from a company called Piggyback. Uh, and they state on the thing that um, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom offers a vast world full of varied quests, challenging puzzles, ferocious monsters, and unique sights to behold, working closely with Nintendo. So they are claiming this is an official guide. We have created the authoritative, all-encompassing guide that this game so richly deserves. We have explored all features and facets of Tears of the Kingdom with a single mission to help you discover and enjoy every moment of this game. Now, these strategy guides don't always end up being the best guides because they have to make it on a time crunch. And because it's a physical thing, it can't be updated as more information comes out or as the original writer write, uh, does it more. But who knows? Uh, there's definitely going to be a bunch of screenshots, a bunch of new imagery. Sometimes you get brand new official art in this stuff. People like to collect these just because there are these oddball little facts and sometimes interview quotes and other things included that really make the strategy guides feel like more than a guide, just a nice collectible item to put you know, on your shelf, maybe glance at it in hindsight after beating Tears of the Kingdom, see what stuff is talked about in there, see if the strats they gave are really what you feel are the best strategies or if it's just a strategy. I don't know. I really like looking at these guides personally. I think that, uh, you know, I, I have a, well, I used to, I should say, I used to have a collection of them. Again, I sold a lot of my gaming uh, memorabilia back in 2019 due to a financial crisis. But bottom line is I'm really excited about this hardcover book, and I think I'm going to buy one for myself. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to order it on Amazon. I might see if it's going to be at uh, GameStop, where I'm going to be picking up my Amiibo and my uh, game, my physical copy of the game at, or Best Buy, where I have the order of the case and the Pro Controller. I know my orders are split between stores because that's just the way it went this time around. Or maybe I do just order this online and just hope it arrives on launch day. Um, because right now they're saying, this is the weird thing on Amazon, they're saying this title will be released on June 16th which is over a month from launch. Uh, so is this guide even done? That's another question to ask. But uh, apparently it's being made in tandem with Nintendo. So maybe this won't be a day one guide. I don't know. Uh, this could just be a placeholder date. Maybe they meant to say May 16th because maybe they don't want to send it out early, risk people getting their hands on it early. So they, they actually ship it on May 12th, arrives on May 16th. I don't know, guys. I'm just reading the Amazon description uh, you guys let me know what you think about this, of course, down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Rumpeljance from Nintendo Prime. And you know what, guys? We'll catch you in the next video.